Let's, why not? Why not? Story time. Hello, everyone. Story time is why not? It's story time. So I got some stories I'd like to talk about today. And the stories that I want to talk about are <laughs> the two times I stepped on a nail. And the time that I stepped on a nail honestly is kind of funny when 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 I start describing it a little bit more. So there are two times that I stepped on a nail. <laughs> The first time is when I was exploring an abandoned house, because honestly, I shouldn't have done that. And the second time is when I was really just taking out the trash. That's it. <laughs> Th those were the two times that I stepped on a nail, and I had, s and it was, it, it, it was painful. So, <laughs> so the first time that I stepped on a nail was, I believe, I believe it was back in 2014 or 15 I was like nine or eight years old when I was in exploring an abandoned house and um, what happened was that me and a friend of mine let's just call him mm, let's just let's just call him D <laughs> so so and what happened was that me and him were bored and we lived and we both lived right next to an abandoned house. So we were like, so we were like, no, why not? Might as well just explore it. And our parents didn't know. And we were just like, no, let's just check it out. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if there's access to the roof because we, we were dumb. All right. Let's, let's be I'll, I'll admit it. We were we, we were dumb. We were dumb. Did I want to do it? Yes, honestly, I wanted to. I honestly did want to do it. I found it very fun. <laughs> but. <laughs> and. Okay. So here's the main story. Me and um. Me and a friend. We'll go on D. So me and him. We were over there just exploring an abandoned house. Because we were bored. And we. And, and we were like purely occupied like we were just full on occupied like no one was looking at us no one noticed just it was just it was just me it was just me and D <laughs> we went through like a side door that led that was in a driveway we led to the side door but first we mainly explored first we mainly explored the um we mainly explored the uh, it's a, it was it's a very faint memory one well, bear with me but we, I think we explored like the backyard first, and the backyard was like barely even cut. Like honestly, like on, like honestly, like I'm like really, really shocked on how like that backyard, like the grass was so tall. Like the grass was so tall, and I'm honestly shocked on how tall the grass was. Like honestly, like honestly, it was it was really longer than my knees. Like like the grass was like. At like knee height, like that's how long it was. Like honestly, if I lay down there, if we were playing hide and seek, I would never be caught. Cause that's that's how tall the grass was. And honestly, I was like I was like an eight year old person. So so judging from it on how tall I am now, that thing literally was like as tall as my legs. Cause I was a short person when I was eight years old. When I was eight years old, I was like a very very small person. It's a very very small child. <laughs> so we checked out the backyard we found this um we just found like nothing but like just like a lot of bricks and destroyed debris that was it we also found we also found like a we also found like a shoe that was it like <laughs> really like honestly honestly like i'm shocked on how we found like a small shoe it, it was like it, it was it was just like a stupid doll shoe that was it so someone found so when we found the doll shoe, we were just like, well, that's kind of creepy. I mean, it was just, it was perfectly clean. I mean, other than like some dirt all around, it was perfectly clean, honestly. And on um, what else happened, it's like, okay, well, there's nothing else here. So let's just move on. So we moved on. We ended up exploring the front yard. Nothing was in the front yard. There was like really nothing in the front yard. 
Because then again, it's the front yard. It was just a bunch of grass, and that was it. And also... Ooh, what else was it? We found we found like a circle. We found like, we found like a like a like just like a circle, like a flat circle. And when I mean like a flat circle, we found like just like a pure flat circle. That was just it was just made out of wood, I believe. It was made out of wood. And uh we didn't dare touch it cuz uh, we saw a spider on it and at that time and at that time we were scared of spiders. We were scared of spiders at that time. We're not on, we're not obviously anymore. I don't even know if he is cuz I, I I haven't talked to him in a while. I have not kept contact with him in the longest. And what else? What else was there? I think that was it. So then after that, we were just like, okay, well, we can explore the side door. Because the side door was somehow, for whatever reason, left open. And I, and I don't know why it was left open. It was just left open. And so we just went through that door. And we explored it. And it was trashy in there. Like, it was messed up in there. It was really, really messed up there. Like, we, like, a counter was literally on the floor. Or, like, or, like, a, uh, or, like, a kitchen cabinet. It was, like, very, very, it was very, very dirty. Like, very, very messy. It was very, very messy. <laughs> uh, what else was there? There was also like there, there was like this piece of wood that was just dangling down the grass there, there was actually grass growing in there honestly moss maybe some mold and there was like this pink stuff that was in like the wall that was like bleeding out or like bleeding out yeah it was like it was like coming out of the wall and i and i think it was like that heat thing that heat thing that keeps our house warm it was like it was like that like that was exposed everywhere so we didn't touch the walls we didn't touch anything like we were just exploring it so then so then after that we moved on to the living room living room was just empty it was dirty but it was empty it was like really really empty and there was like ugh, what else was there it was a fireplace. There was like a small, like a, a, like a small, small fireplace. And, and, and it, had, it was like, it was like, it was like the size of like a small, like round door. Like it was like the size of a round door. And there was nothing burning in there. There was nothing in there, obviously. We looked up, we saw like 10 spiders down there. <laughs> so we, so, so at that time we ran out. We ran out that time because there was so many spiders in there. So when we ran out, we were just like, let's try and go back in there. Make sure we're all clean. Make sure there's no spiders on us. There wasn't, thank God. But hey, we're all good. So then we went back in and we proceed to the bathroom. <laughs> the toilet was literally destroyed. Honestly, like it was broken. Like honestly, like I'm shocked on how the toilet was so broken. Like it was so destroyed. Like half of it, like half of it was just broken. The other half was the other half was just plopped. The, the one one half was standing like an actual toilet. The other side was just like on the ground. And and like and like the toilet and like the toilet head thing where you like where you can like close the toilet and everything. That thing, that thing was not even there anymore. It was pure gone. It, it was just pure pure gone, purely gone. I was baffled, baffled when I saw it, and I wish I took a picture, but I didn't have my phone there. I didn't have my phone at the time. But then, <laughs> it was just the toilet was just so messed up. Like honestly, it's like and honestly, it's like how like just how does the toilet get that messed up? Like honestly, like I think a sledgehammer. I think someone slammed it with a sledgehammer. Like it was so messed up. And then after that, and after that, we went upstairs, because that was all that was up there so far. So we went upstairs. So, so when we went upstairs, there was like really nothing in there. There, there was just, there was just like some wood in there. There, there was just, there was just like some wood. Just like an actual like wood just hanging out from there. From like the stairs and everything. It, it wasn't like a full on trap. It wasn't like a full on like home alone trap, really. 
But I swear, but I swear, it's like we stayed far away from that because honestly, I get the feeling that that place was kind of trapped. And looking back on it, I get the feeling it was actually really trapped. Kind of scares me the most on how I actually went in the house that was kind of, you know, trapped. I mean, I doubt it, but it probably was because there was like this string thing that we saw. There, there was like this string thing that we saw and, and with that there was just like just a tire there So we stayed far away from that We still went upstairs and when we went upstairs when we went upstairs It was just like three rooms and then and then like and then like oh uh, and then like a window that led to like outside where we could see like the light and everything It wasn't it wasn't like that much in there. We explored the rooms. It was all there was was just like a tore up bed all there was was just like a messed up bed. A um, ah, oh, what else was there? It was just a messed up bed. That was it. it was just a messed up bed. Now that I think about it, just a messed up bed. Some of that pink stuff that was on the wall. It was uh, it was some of that pink stuff that was on the wall. So some of the uh, pink stuff that was on the wall. Another one, another thing I believe was the uh. Ooh, I don't know what else was there. What else was there? Oh. The ceiling, the, ce the ceiling was kind of messed up. I mean, like, you can see, like, the wooden stuff. Like, you can see, like, the wooden beams that was hanging from the ceiling. And I think that was it for the first room. The second room, there was just nothing in there but a bunch of boxes. We didn't look in the boxes. We, we didn't want to. We just wanted to get in and get out. And so then after that, so then after that, we went to another room. There was just a bunch of boxes. Third room had really nothing in it. Third room, third room just had like a bunch of, just like a bunch of crap in there. Like a bunch of trash and everything. Like honestly, like honestly, like that room was literally up, like literally a whole trash can. And then after that, we went to the window and this is the part where I stepped on a nail. I stepped on a nail. Because we were climbing out the ladder. And none of us saw that nail. Like the nail was actually like just poking out of there. When the nail was poking out. I was just like. Okay well there's nothing there. Because we didn't see it. So we tried to open the window. Window did open somehow. I don't know how. Because it's an abandoned house. But hey it somehow opened. So window opened. We were all good. When, when, the, when we opened the window. D went first. D also actually grabbed something from the kitchen. I believe it was just a piece of paper in there. It was just a piece of paper. That was it. Just a piece of paper. Another thing that he also grabbed was just was just like a, a piece of cardboard. Honestly, honestly, I don't know why. And to this day, he don't even know why. I asked why. And he was just like, I just want to grab it. So he took it. He took a piece of cardboard and some paper. That was it. Honestly, that was really it. I didn't take anything. And then after that... When we went up on the window, he went up to the window to see what's through there. There was a roof access. There was roof access. So when we went on the roof, we were just like, yeah, come on, let's just go on the roof. So then after that, <laughs> when we climbed on the roof, there wasn't really anything that bad. Really, I mean, it, I mean, there, there was some stuff messed up on the roof, but we could see, like, our neighbors. We could see our house. We could see our house because I literally live right next door to that abandoned house. So then after that, it was like, okay, well, now it's my turn to climb up. So I climbed up, and just on how my luck is, I stepped on the nail. And you know and you know when you, like, step on something sharp, or you feel something sharp, and you feel, you just go like, ah. yeah, that was me. I was just like, and I was just like, what's the deal? And I was like, what did I step on? So I looked, and apparently, I stepped on a nail. And the nail, oh man, I don't even know if it was rusty at this point. I mean, I'm fine. I mean, I still have my foot that I stepped on the nail. And you can actually still see the thing on my foot. Because honestly, like, that mark was still, it's still on my foot. And I'm baffled on how that mark was still on my foot. But then after that, we just was like, okay, it's time to get out. I was able to walk on the foot that I stepped on the nail with. But however, it's like every time that I stepped on it, I felt something wet. And it was just like... And in my head, I was just like, good. So I, so we like, 
ran outside. Well, D ran outside to get my mother while I kept walking slowly inside. He was still by my side. He was just like, he was just like, yeah, come on, we gotta hurry up so we, so we can help. So after that, we were just like, okay, might as well just go. So went out. I I put I took off my shoe on the nail that on the foot that I stepped on the nail with. And I kid you not, there was just so much blood coming out of it. Like just so much blood coming out of my foot. And 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 I was just like, Jesus Christ, I'm scared to take off my sock. And this is when I started to panic. I was like, oh God, I'm literally I'm I'm, I'm literally using blood as we speak. And I don't know what I and I and I don't know, because at that time I didn't know what I stepped on. I didn't know what I stepped on at the time, and I didn't know how sharp it was. I didn't know how deep it went. I only, all I know was that I'm bleeding. I had to go get help. So D got my mother. My mother was just like, "Oh my God!" My mother was exactly like that. Her jaw dropped, and she saw my foot, and it was just like, Jesus Christ. And because since I literally stepped on an abandoned house, that nail was most likely rusty. And I hope it wasn't because I didn't get a tetanus shot. I didn't. So I'm perfectly fine as we speak. I mean, it was like a couple years ago when I was like eight or nine. Or seven. Maybe I was seven. But then after that, <laughs> I took off my sock. Blood literally just squirted out. Like just, like just, just boom. Like just a little... Just, just like a small projectile of it, and I was just like, "Yep," this, yeah, and I was like, "Yep, I'm about to lose my foot," because in my head I was just like, "I may lose my foot," and honestly, I was, uh, I was, I was kind of panicking. I was really actually panicking. I was just like, "Oh God, I may lose my foot. I'm losing some blood. Literally, just blood, just like, just squirted out." And I was just like, "Jesus Christ, what have I done?" But good thing we had all the materials. However, we didn't have any alcohol. When honestly, I and honestly, I didn't know what hydrogen peroxide was at the time, so it was just like, oh well, alcohol can probably help. So we didn't have alcohol, but luckily D did, and I'm pretty sure we already know where it's going. Alcohol and open wound is it's not a good it's not a good combination. So so then after that, it was just like, ooh yeah, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> so so my mom was just like I hope you know this is gonna hurt as fuck this is gonna hurt as hell and I was just like yeah I know immediately just immediately immediately as soon as she poured some alcohol in it I was just like cause it stung so bad and she just kept going and it went on for a good 10 seconds and I kept my composure I kept my composure until like five seconds later, I immediately screamed at the top of my lungs. That thing hurt as ever. I was in massive pain. Massive pain. Like it hurt so bad. I was in so much pain. And I was just like, I could keep my composure. But no, I could not keep my composure. Because it hurt so bad. Like, it hurt so bad. And to this day, to this day, I can still feel the pain and the struggle that I had to go through with it. I was in so much pain. I was crying. I was sobbing because of how much pain pain and suffering I was going through on my poor foot and then after that we uh, wrapped it in a bandage we wrapped it in a bandage after that but I was just like Jesus Christ I'm traumatized on how damaged my foot was I to this day I really hope it wasn't I to this day I, I really do hope it wasn't a um I like to this day I really hope that it wasn't it wasn't a uh, a rusted a rusted nail, and to and to and at that time I still never knew. It was like, was it a nail or did or like or like did someone just stab me secretly? So I was like, okay, well it's not that much. Yeah, it turns out that I lost at least 
at least maybe a lot of blood. I didn't lose much to the point where I was going to faint or pass out. I was perfectly fine. But I was just like, Jesus Christ, that hurt. And honestly, like, a part of the stair was just covered in my blood. So we had to wash it down with the hose. And I just sat in the living room, just, just and I just sat in the living room. I was just watching TV in the living room because at that time, I, I don't think I had a phone. So I just sat there, watched TV on my phone, and just, just sat there and enjoyed it. It hurt to walk on that foot, so I had to step on my heel or on my tippy toes. Yes, I said tippy toes. <laughs> I sure did say tippy toes. So I like, I really was like actually on my actual tip of my toes. Like I wasn't like I was not taking any chances. So I just kept on walking and walking. I was perfectly fine, and that kept, and I missed like one day of school because of it. I missed one full day of school, and then the second day of school, I was just like, "Well, my foot doesn't hurt that much," but I still stepped on my heel for a little bit. Then after that, my mother took off the bandage and everything, and it was good as new. It still had a little mark on it, like a small little mark. It, it was it literally just looks like a whole entire red dot on my foot. Like, it's honestly, like, just a whole red dot. Like, it's just a whole red dot. So, then after that, I just moved on with my life after that. Like, I, I was in pain. Don't get me wrong. I was in a lot of pain when I saw it. I was... It hurt a lot. I wanted to cry more. And to this day, I want to cry more. But I was fine. In the end, I was fine. But then again, that was my left foot. Now we're going to move on to the right foot. Because I stepped on a nail on my right foot. <laughs> and, the, and this one's not as bad. It's not as panicking or anything. And it actually wasn't bleeding that much. All I did was just slap on a bandage on that foot. And I was perfectly fine. Just slapped on a whole bandage. <laughs> I, was just, I was just like, oh god, I'm bleeding again. Slapped on a whole bandage. Right there. <laughs> so then after that. So let's begin. So let's begin on the first part. So the first time we were rearranging our kitchen. Because our kitchen. When we first moved on to our new house. Our kitchen was. Our kitchen had some relatively ugly looking wooden cabinets. And we didn't like them. So we paid someone to take them down. I helped a little bit. But I didn't get paid. But I helped a little bit. And we replaced them with some nice white looking cabinets. And it looks honestly even better. It looks better. We still have like the top wooden part. And it's been there since this whole time. It's just that the cabinets are changed. It's just like the top part. Like, oh crap, what was it called? Like the top counter part of it. It's just still the same. It's the same old type of wood. It's just that we had to like repaint it. Repaint it to like a fancy looking brown. Like a fancy looking brown color. But then we just had like a lot, like we had a lot of, like a lot of like wooden cabinet parts of it, nails and everything. We had like nails and some stuff. We had to like full on break apart because it because it was either a too heavy, or too dangerous. So 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 yeah so yeah let's make something more dangerous. So yeah let's make something dangerous and some more dangerous by breaking it apart and making it more sharp. Genius, huh? Good job, everybody. But then after that, it was trash day and I had to take it out and my dad helped. And because of that, it was like so heavy. And I'm sorry, I apologize for saying all this stuff. Like I have, I, I have a speech problem. Like bear with me here. I have a starting problem. I have a speech problem. I've been having it for the longest now. So bear with me here. I apologize for saying like because of this, because of that and everything else. I apologize. I have a very, 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 very 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 severe speak problem thing yeah that <laughs> but then oh crap what else happened so when i took it out i dropped it like like we took out so first i took down the doors i took down the cabinets i took down the cabinet walls the doors while my dad took out some other stuff he took out the nails and everything and some stuff still had nails in it, so it was like, hey, be careful. I was just like, oh, yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I, I know what I'm doing. I'm very careful when it comes to certain things. 
I'm careful when it comes to some stuff. And I was like, I'll be fine. Turns out I was not fine. I ended up uh, stepping on a, uh, a long nail. It wasn't rusty this time. I know that one. That time it wasn't rusty. And and when I when I took when I would I okay so I stepped on the nail with my right foot, and of course I and of course I was like, ah oh, fuck, I was in so much pain again. It wasn't like it wasn't like as bad as it was before. It it was it wasn't uh, it wasn't as bad. It wasn't as bad. I wasn't bleeding much from last time. Like the like the blood wasn't squirting out this time. And <laughs> my dad was just laughing. I mean, honestly, I was too, like, nervously laughing. And my dad was nervously laughing too. It was like, <laughs> are you okay? I was just like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll live. And it turns out I did live. I'm perfectly fine now. But when I stepped on the nail, it hurt so bad. And honestly, like, I, ra I, I rather would have that on my foot than on my arm or in my chest or anything else like that. And then, uh, uh, excuse me, I had a yawn. But then after that, just walked in. I had to jump my way, actually, this time. My dad helped, but I had to, like, jump my way. Like, just, like, just, like, bunny hop my way to get to, like, the front door. When it turns out the front door was locked, I knocked and uh, no one answered. So I had to run, so I had to bunny hop my way to the back door. So I bunny hopped my way to the back door. Just went, just like, just jumped all over the place. Like just hop, hop, hoppity hop. Just jumped everywhere. Bounced everywhere. Jumped, jumped, and jumped. So then after that. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what else will happen. Eesh. Uh, I believe... I believe this is the part where I just slapped on a piece of like a small bandage and honestly like the bandages it's like those circle bandages. It's like those circle bandages and everything. It's like those circle bandages and everything. And because of that circle bandage, I just slapped it on. Like listen, it's okay. So and when I mean I slapped it on, I actually just slapped it on. Like just like just full on like just smacked it on my foot. It hurt a little bit, but it was worth it in the end. I still walked on the, my right foot because my right foot wasn't hurting as much as it did on my left foot. So I and honestly, I believe like my right foot took the bigger nail than my left foot. But I'm fine in the end. I was perfectly fine. That was like a couple years ago. I wasn't dying. I, I, a part of me thought I was honestly because I because because looking back on it now, I feel like I lost a lot of blood at that point when I stepped on the first nail. But I was fine. Just perfectly fine. But yeah, that's the story, really, pretty much, about the time that I stepped on a nail twice. And fun fact, that happened literally the day after I stepped on my other nail. I stepped on the nail on my left foot. So, to sum it all up, I've stepped on a nail on my left foot. A day, like, I believe it was, like, on Tuesday, because it happened during a Saturday. On Tuesday, when after school, I took out the trash and everything. And because of all, like, the debris and everything. Wait a minute. No, wait, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm, lo I'm losing my memory. I, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have memory loss. Bear with me here. I have memory loss. I don't remember most things. But when it comes, but when it, like, oh, crap. Oof. Uh, oh crap yeah I believe it happened like it happened four years apart yeah four years apart if I was nine years old if I was eight years old then five seven then yeah yeah numbers and numbers yeah so I stepped on the nail on my left foot I actually still like I said I still have like I still have like the mark on the time that I stepped on the nail on my exact left foot and not on my right foot though. When I'm pretty sure that my my left foot 
because my left foot was literally taking a lot more blood than my left than my right foot like my right foot was literally just pure intact i mean it was just dropping bits of blood pretty fast but that was it just dropping piece of blood pieces of blood here and there nothing much and after that ah oh crap what else was there then again i'm sorry for saying after that i i I, uh, I, have, I have a problem. I apologize for saying that. A lot. But, those four years apart, like I said, just slapped on the nail. Slapped on the nail? <laughs> I just slapped on the bandage on my right foot. And I was fine. And after that, just moved on with my life. I do have another story that I do want to talk about, but eh, I don't know if I should talk about it on this one. But I'm just going to leave it here, everyone. So, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed my little stuttering problem when it comes to my stories and everything. Hope you enjoyed my stuttering stories. <laughs> I should, I, that should be a series now, just stuttering stories. Because I stutter so much. I make a positive out of some things. But I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all in the next one, which most likely I'll probably tell another story on... Maybe on Monday or Wednesday. It just depends. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Yeah, I got what grand in my dummy up. Who caught a mill in my go yard dump? I win the guess, so you still got a show. Bone with the drip and just done how to hustle. Look at your bitch through these DL by folks. Cause I get me some hands, she been that shit over.